Hello everyone, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, and you know, whatever holiday you're celebrating this season, I hope you and your family are having a wonderful time together. Do you remember the first video we made about how to make vanilla extract? Well, it's been a year and we are ready to bottle this up. So this was the Captain Morgan that we used. The vanilla beans have been infusing in here. And this was the vodka that we used. This used to be clear. Look at that. You see the beans inside. It's wonderful. And the fragrance coming from these is incredible. Now I told you that we would come up with a way to gift these. Well, I've purchased these small five ounce bottles. They come with these little lids. These are also great for hot sauce. And they have caps. And they have these, which are really neat. You can actually put these in hot water after you cap it. And I'll show you how to do that. And it will shrink wrap to the bottle. Then when they go to open it, there's these little gold tabs. You can get these in various colors. If you check the description below, it's gonna have links to everything that we can possibly put a link to, so you can find it on your own. We also have these cute little labels that we're gonna stick on the bottles because I do plan on gifting these to a few people. Now you're gonna need these small bottles and a little funnel. It does not come with a funnel, so you'll need to find one that will fit inside the bottle. And we're gonna have to pour these carefully. So I'm gonna go throw on an apron and I'll be right back. Okay, everything has been washed and sanitized. You wanna do that, especially when you get new bottles. We're gonna start with our vodka. I'm gonna make best way to do this. I'm going to make six of these. Okay. Oh, that smells so good. We're going to pour this slowly. Well, trial and error, a little bit too much on this one, but that's okay. Let's see if I can clean this up. I'll be right back. I'll pour a little of this off into here. As you can tell, it's a little hard to see when to stop. And this is my first time doing this. So we're learning together. Okay, now we're ready to fill the rest of these bottles carefully. Now, if you want to make them look more decorative or if you just didn't let them infuse long enough, you can take the beans out of here and put one bean in each jar and that'll just make it look a little bit nicer for gifting. Here we go again. Okay. <laughs> I will learn how to do this, I promise. And you know, I try to keep it as real as possible and not edit too much. So you can see it's trial and error. saved a good chunk of money doing this so I can actually spill a little of this and I'm not upset 
Now for jar number three. Hopefully I've got this figured out now. get some of the vanilla beans out and put in the jars just because it would look better. Before I do that, we're going to do the Captain Morgan. Clean up a little bit. Morgan, which is our rum. Like I said in the first video, oh, it smells good. This one is actually really good for working with chocolates. Hopefully it's easier to pour because it has a handle. See some of our vanilla bean pieces are in there. You can strain this with a cheesecloth if you want to, but I don't think it's necessary, personally. way to get the vanilla bean pods out of here is gonna be to pour it in here. I am going to have to <laughs> do it this way because there's I don't have tongs that would reach down in there. Now if you have those long skinny tongs those would be perfect but I don't. we've poured everything into here I'm going to get some tongs and pull out the vanilla beans and we'll put one in each jar All right. And the 
rest will go back in my jars. You may have to pour a little bit off the tops to get these in there, but these are still full of vanilla beans. It's wonderful. So that's one. I want them to be as full as possible, like this one. So I'm gonna get my funnel and just try to pour a little bit more in. Hopefully not spill it. This time I'm going to use the pitcher. funnel so I can just add everything back in here and I'm going to scrape out every vanilla bean that's in here the little tiny pieces I want every bit because once I am finished with this then I'm going to actually take the bean pods that are left stick them in a dehydrator and I can use that to blend in with sugar and make vanilla sugar which that'll be a video in the future and I'll make sure to add it under this playlist now this can go back in the pantry and sit until I'm ready to use it. So before we get started on the vodka, I want to go ahead and cap these just enough to set them aside and I won't be worried about knocking them over because I am a little clumsy sometimes. So we're going to take these little plastic caps that came in for the hot sauce and just snap one on the top of each bottle. Now that I've done that, I'm gonna put these black caps that they sent on the top. Be careful and make sure you have them fully fitted on there. You do not want to turn these upside down to seal them and have them leak. Okay. You see how cute that is with the beans inside? Okay. Now we're going to move these to the side and now we can do the vodka. Okay, just like we did for the other one gonna pour this in here and pull out a few beans. I filled all the way up, so I'm going to pour some of that out. And then we can put the beans in.
That is the last of the beans. All right, now we're gonna finish filling these like we did the other ones. Now we're going to pour it back into the large bottle. Okay, and now for the caps. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is boil some water and get those caps sealed. Okay, so I boiled three cups of water in my tea kettle and I'm supposed to be able to, I've never used these before. <laughs> we're gonna try it out. I'm supposed to be able to put these on, flip it upside down, you know, hold it with your finger just a little bit, but don't put your finger in the water. You're supposed to be able to Put it in there, swirl it around a little bit. Wow, look at that. It worked. You know, I should probably get a towel. Be right back. Gotta be festive. So, <laughs> dry this off. This is awesome. I'm really gonna enjoy giving these as gifts. All right, on to the next one. Now the swirling motion that I'm doing is supposed to help it seal up and not have any wrinkles in it. I think after these few bottles, I'm probably going to have to heat the water again because it's already starting to cool down. You can definitely tell when it cools down. Okay. All right, so I made it through <laughs> five bottles and I need to heat the water again, even though there's still steam coming off, it's not quite boiling. Be right back. Now for the rum. clean up and then I get to put the cute labels on. Alright, so I dried off all the bottles just to make sure that these labels would stick. Now these labels say handmade with love and then you have two lines to be able to write whatever you want to on there. Now for these I'm just going to label it vanilla extract. With these however I'm gonna label it 
a spiced rum vanilla extract. That way they know the difference between the two because I'm going to gift two in one basket. I'm going to see which is easier, writing it and then stickering or sticker and then write. I like finding the seam on the bottle and putting it on the opposite side. That's just something I like to do. All right, there's the vanilla. And now, I'm going to sticker this one first. I actually like this way better. I will go through and label these and then I will show you how to make a cookie jar. It's a um, cookie mix in a jar and that way you can kind of make this a complete little basket for someone. All right, be back in just a little bit after I label the rest of these bottles. Now that the vanilla is done, I'm going to show you how to make a cookie jar and you can put all these together in a basket and it would make a great gift. What you're going to need are wide mouth quart jars. I have two that I'm making. I'm going to put this recipe below, but you can follow along. I'm going to need one cup of all purpose flour, and instead of making double the recipe. I'm going to do one at a time because I want to make sure that all the ingredients that are needed for one recipe is in one jar. Next you're going to need a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. teaspoon of ground nutmeg Ugh. already smells so good okay. and a teaspoon of baking soda And finally, half a teaspoon of salt. You're going to want to whisk this all together. our job.
get everything to fit in the jar, you want to make sure you press everything down as firmly as you can. And I'm using a spoon to do this. The next thing we're going to add in are the raisins. We need three-fourths a cup of raisins. I'm going to do this fourth a cup at a time. And again, press down. Now we need two cups of rolled oats. We make a lot of baked oat meals in my family, so we have a huge bucket full of oats. I'm going to actually put this in my bowl first. Then I'll put it in the jar. Okay, I'm going to use a smaller scoop. down. This is a half cup measure. That'll help pack everything in. It's already pretty full. It's to here. You can see that. But we've still got to add the sugar. We need three fourths a cup of packed brown sugar. I'm going to do the same thing that I did for the raisins and do a fourth at a time. There's a little trick for your brown sugar to keep it crumbly and keep it from drying out, you can put a piece of bread in the top and that soaks up all the moisture. All right, I'm gonna use this to press that down. I'm hoping this is gonna fit. It doesn't look like it will, but hopefully it will. So I still have to fit a half a cup of white sugar in here. I don't know how that's gonna happen. Hmm. So you can see how that's full. There's no way I'm gonna fit sugar in here. So I'm gonna have to change the layout for the next jar. And I'm gonna use this to actually bake a batch of cookies later. But as I said before, trial and error. So I'm gonna set this aside and <laughs> do the next jar. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and mix up the dry ingredients just like I did with the other jar.
time I think we're going to put the oats, then the white sugar, because that should travel down through the oats, then the brown sugar, then the raisins. I'm not going to press it because I want to be able to let the sugar kind of get in through the oats. So we need half a cup of the white sugar. I think I'm going to use the funnel for this. in there but okay I'm going to shake that through we see how it kind of goes down through the oats I'm just gently tapping the sides pressing as hard as I can. This way if I need to, I could put the raisins in a bag on the side. As long as the other ingredients are in a sealed jar. brown sugar and again I'm doing one fourth cup at a time a little bit more I might be able to fit at least a half a cup of raisins in here. So 
when I put the recipe below, I'm going to make sure I alter how it's layered so it's a lot easier. There. Okay. So this is all as firmly packed as I can get it. You see how high up it is? Now the raisins. About a half a cup, see if I can press them in here real good. That might work. And that is three fourths a cup. So it works. And I'm going to take my lid, make sure there's nothing around the edge. Close it up and there you have it. So these are a oatmeal spice raisin cookie. And then I will have all the instructions on how you can print out a tag and attach that to it. You can tie a little root around and make it very decorative. All right. Well, thanks for joining me in the kitchen. I hope you enjoyed watching me make mistakes and learning as we learn together. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and hit that notification bell so you know when every video comes up. And if you try this, please comment how it went or join us on the Facebook page and post your pictures. I'd love to see them. All right. Bye. Merry Christmas.